Public school ass bathrooms. Got two stalls right here. Just a bunch of sinks and stuff. This is probably the best part though. <laughs> Just a curtain to block hey, off yo, these two. Before this starts, I really have to say, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is my first time attempting to record specifically just inside the dorm. Lucky that my roommate Darren isn't here right now. I have this mini tripod, so I could try setting it up somewhere around here on my desk. Right now, I'm just going through every possible angle I could have of this. This this feels awkward. This one will be way too high. I mean, the light is really bright in my face, but I think I could probably make this work for now. Got my trusty little ring light over here. Now it's been a while since the last time I've actually done one of these videos where I watch something and break it down. You've seen me do that for Antrim and the Mandela Effect video. Antrim being one of the most popular videos on this channel. I don't really recommend watching that one anymore though because, you know, audio quality and all that is kind of not subpar right at the moment. But today I wanted to talk about a short film slash musical called possibly in Michigan. Just a little pause real quick. As I mentioned in the start, I am testing things out. This video, you're gonna hear no mic audio like you're hearing right now. This is the mic. I just wanna check out if the mic audio is better or the camera audio is better right now. Probably gonna be the mic audio, so bear with me for this video, please. And it is genuinely one of the creepiest and weirdest videos I've ever watched. It's not like a myth or found footage sort of thing. It's a full-on director <laughs> written produced horror musical directed by Cecilia Condit. It was created back in 1983. And just recently, like these past few years, it started going a little viral. More specifically, just this audio right here. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. And if you think that's creepy, <laughs> You won't believe what the rest of the video is. The main reason I'm showing this right now is because in my media class, my professor showed us a bunch of random short films and videos, just horror based. And possibly in Michigan was one of them. He only showed about a minute or two. He told us if you want to see the rest, watch it yourself. Now it starts off innocent enough. Any old school VHS film, just a low budget looking text in front of some buildings, then kicks in the music, which is kind of fire, not gonna lie. But the lyrics are important to listen to, specifically these. I bite at the hand that feeds me. Slap at the face that eats me Some kind of animal cannibal And without any context, we get this creepy looking dude following this little girl around And upon seeing him, you'd probably ask yourself two questions Who the fuck is this dude? And what the hell now, dude? As the film continues, we meet Sharon and Janice And then we find out that this weird dude is named Arthur the three of them start bonding over perfume, and then kicks in one of the creepiest parts of the video. This one here smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good, she couldn't have been that crazy. Now somehow Sharon gets in her head that liking the same perfume makes you a sane person when she's saying that she's directly speaking about janice's aunt definitely isn't the same person we find that out right away she put her poodle one time in a microwave what do you like say janice's auntie is genuinely on some martin cabello type of shit you know cocaina no flour somebody just asked me um why i hate the military oven to eat it yeah to eat it oh no no, 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 silly. Ugh, I swear, even like pausing it right now, I can still no, hear that. No, 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 in my head, no, no, it's so creepy. Too dry it. No, 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 no. But no, it exploded. No. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her Her free musical continues as some creepy imagery and odd editing starts taking place. As she starts to leave, we see that she's getting followed by Arthur. And then the music from the intro comes back as we learn that Sharon has had like a history of really bad boyfriends. How do I meet the strangest men? They always seem to find me. Remember that time way back when I kissed a guy who ate his women friends? Huh? As they try to escape from Arthur, they get to Sharon's house and Janice decides to dip, but Arthur somehow still managed to follow them. He then starts switching out masks, for whatever reason not to speak, to try to disguise himself, eventually turning into 1980s version of Cardis Connor. And there's vivid imagery of her turning into a corpse and back possibly showcasing that she might become a victim. When Sharon finally notices that there's someone just standing outside her door, she starts describing him to Janice until he breaks in. Well, he's got the head and it's the size of a wolf and a mouth as large as her. The better to eat you with, my dear. 
And somehow Arthur has enough riz to make Shannon forget that this motherfucker literally broke in. And then he starts getting physical with her, like in a threatening way. Literally telling her that he's gonna eat her. Either she gets eaten slowly or she gets eaten brutally. Like bro is taking eating her out way too literal. <laughs> she gets told that she's gonna become the seventh victim, but luckily Janice comes in and time just to save the day. And you think, end of story, finally, they've been saved. Fuck no. They turned this dude what into soup. They started eating him, like the bones and everything. They started drinking his blood. They were cannibals too. Then they start smoking fat doobies and get naked bonding over eating this dude. I mean, I guess eating someone together is the most romantic thing you could do. After that, they give her the leftovers, just throw away the body in the trash. <laughs> the trash man picks it up and that's how this ends. Now you see that they're in changed clothes afterwards, uh, so they probably got naked because they were trying to get rid of the evidence or they smashed off camera. Now there is more to this story. There's actually a backstory to it. Another video that's also on her channel, which if you want to check out, I'll put in the link down below for both videos. This entire thing is loosely based on a true story, which is crazy to me. The first movie is called uh, Beneath Her Skin. It's not as popular as possibly in Michigan, but it's still something that you might want to check out. There is a lot of context that comes from that video building up to this video, which Still makes it super creepy, don't get me wrong. Oh, if you guys like this video, um, I could try doing one on that one probably this weekend. But yeah, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Oh.